Hello everybody, this is Renee and Tom and I are on the Ultimate World Cruise. We had a day at sea and then stopped in Nagasaki, Japan and Kagoshima, Japan. Our entertainment was ballet on shoulders, which was just phenomenal. As we docked in Nagasaki, we were greeted by a local band. Tom and I then took a taxi to the Nagasaki Penguin Aquarium. Because it was about an hour away from the port, the taxi driver said he'd wait for us. I think he also knew it was a smaller aquarium and it wouldn't take more than an hour to go through. This aquarium only cost the equivalent of $3 US. So of course I used the restroom before we left to go back into town. The taxi driver dropped us off at the local Chinatown market. Wait for it, the local cuisine is right there but we did not stop. We then walked out of the market area and visited some local temples. I have not reduced the sound on this footage, and yes, it is that quiet there. This Buddhist temple was constructed in 1629 for the Nagasaki Chinese residents. We found a random sink in the ground. This cemetery went up the side of the hill. As we left the cemetery, we walked along the street and found more temples. As we made our way back to the port, we went over the Nagashima River bridges. We then found a local restaurant and had food served to us by a robot. I did try the local chicken fingers and they were good. The next day we docked in Kagoshima, Japan. And we docked next to one of the world's most active volcanoes in Kagoshima. Tom and I didn't have an excursion plan so we wanted to walk to the Eon Mall. It was just a quick one mile walk where we restocked up on supplies. And of course we went to the bathroom there with a heated seat and heated water for the bidet. Inside the mall they had this beautiful display for Mother's Day made out of balloons. We had a quick lunch and then headed back to the port. And the entertainment that night was just unbelievable. The Chinese face changing Hong Fei. The locals gave us a send-off at the port that night. The next day, we went to a meeting to see who's on board. They also let us know what the new African excursions are going to be. It was 14 ports of information overload. If anybody has any suggestions, please put them in the comments below so we can read them. And then that night for entertainment, Royal Caribbean auctioned off Blow the Ship's Horn for Make-A-Wish Foundation. The impressions and the comedy of Jonathan Clark. <laughs> Thank you.
If you enjoy traveling with us, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more exciting adventures. See you at the next port.